Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 9th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We got the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, the World, the Moon, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more. Let's get this going. And the King of Pentacles, Empress at the bottom. Okay, Libra. Libra, victory will be yours the moment that you um, recognize how to tune into source consciousness, how to tune into your highest self and operate from that place. We got friendship, discipline at the bottom here. Let's keep diving in, all right? For all of you that have signed up to my membership here on YouTube, the join button's in the description, like just below here, below the subscribe and like. Thank you so much over on the membership, especially when you sign up to be an alchemist, you receive, um, you will receive more videos, video access to me. Okay. You'll receive lives. All right. And if you join the mystic, you get cutie little emojis. Cause I uh, guess who's coming back doing lives your girl. So you're going to want to stay tuned. Okay. We're going to be doing paid or private lives for our community. And, uh, once a month I'm coming on live here. Um, oops, wrong weird. Why did I pick that? But I'm going to drop that there. Uh, once a month, I'm going to be coming in live um, for for our whole community here, including the mystics. OK, so that's down there. So let's talk about what's going on astrologically while I keep pulling out these cards. Astrologically, we just had the new moon in Virgo on the second. We have the full moon partial lunar eclipse in Pisces on the 17th. And we are wrapping up the eclipse cycle between Aries and Libra. OK, and this directly affects you. And the reason for this is because whatever shit you have been going through since like I would say like 2014, uh, or 2017, sorry. And then now again, like 2022 ish. Okay. As when we moved into North node, um, Aries, uh, South node Libra, this stuff is reaching its accumulation. We have Capricorn and Pluto at the 29th degree, whatever house Capricorn rules in your chart is also seeing a sense of completion, a uh, learning of a, of a cycle. Okay. This is, this is incredible. This is, uh, this is amazing. Because what it's saying to you is there's a dawn of a new day, baby, a dawn of a new day. OK, you are closing off chapters and beginning new ones. And I want you to acknowledge and recognize where you feel like the illusions are showing up because the moon is right beside the world. And so this is telling me that source is saying, babe, I'm cracking open a new journey. I'm cracking open a new path. I'm cracking open um, a new uh, you know, a new chapter for your life and I'll pay attention to where the old narratives, the old stories, um, the old belief systems are so deeply ingrained that you're still holding on to them because here's an opportunity to purge them. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe and Sagittarius. Okay. Jupiter Sagittarius energy here showing up. So what I'm seeing here is that for maybe for some of you, you're a Pisces rising or the 11th house, um, is, um, partially owned by Capricorn in your chart. This could also indicate the seventh house as well. And what's what I'm seeing here is that source is actually showing you uh, Libra that some of the friends that you have in your life right now may not be necessarily the best, but you're also seeing their behaviors. You're also seeing their patterns. You're also seeing, um, what's showing up and what needs to shift, like the story you're telling yourself or the same repeating cycles that happen, etc. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. This tells me that source is saying whatever you desire right now has the opportunity to be yours, Libra, when you operate from your highest octave. And with Sagittarius and Jupiter showing up, there's a desire here for expansion, higher learning, knowledge, potential travel, your morals, your values, your ethics are all not coming to question or being questioned but rather you're, you know, you're kind of percolating through them. The Ace of Swords is showing up. This is new thoughts, intellect, new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of being. This is your mind going in your head, asking yourself like, is this a good thought process? Do I take this with me? Is this a good thought process? Do I need to leave that? Do you know what I mean? With the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands, again, there is this like, I almost want to say like, 
battle, right? So what I'm seeing here really show up is like the ego and the shadow um, trying to knock you off of your highest self path. And your highest self path is coming in time and time again, because I'm seeing you in your highest octave, Libra, and your highest self path is coming in time and time again, saying everything is balanced. Everything is good. I operate from my highest expression, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little mantra right now to say, um, to help you out, okay? I am always operating from the highest expression aligned with my highest self. I am always operating from my highest expression aligning with my highest version of myself. This will help you to realize where your ego and your shadow come in because trust me, trust you, the ego and the shadow, they love to cause drama and we don't need that anymore. All right, we have the cherry and the world showing up. So here you are taking control of what's happening and wrapping up that cycle that we've been talking about. This cycle is coming to its accumulation. It's coming to its end. It's finito. It's done. All right. And with the moon and the king of pentacles, what I'm seeing here is a beautiful opportunity here for you to plant new seeds, for you to feel so secure and stable and grounded in yourself, for you to see the reality of these situations in your life, Libra, for what they are and learn to heal and walk away from them okay now let's dive in here and see what's going on with love and romance we got the eight of swords the page of wands and the lovers king of pentacles showing up queen of pentacles at the bottom yeah you're focused oh wow and you got the empress here too okay in love Change the story. You want to attract healthy romantic partnership into your life? Change the story because you actually have the potential for new love to come in. Um, a king of pentacles, that's your, that's, your, that's your equal. A king of pentacles might be making their way towards you. And maybe you're feeling like you're looped into the stories of like, you know, um, this happened with this ex, so therefore it's gonna happen with this new person. Da 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 da. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No 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 no. Okay, eight of pentacles. Yeah, eight of swords, nine of swords. Yes, we're shut. We're wrapping up the stories. Okay, high priestess, page of wands. I'm gonna pull out one more here just because I found that interesting. Yeah, king of swords, nine of wands. Yeah, your mind here is you got to learn to get control of your mind. I'm going to actually pop this video here to help you with your mindset. Okay. How to master your mindset, because, um, this is going to support you so much in your, in manifesting your dream life and in helping you to really tune into your highest expression so that everything that you desire comes to you with ease. All right. If you want to book a session, you want to work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later alligators. Peace.